Howdy, everyone. My name is Starfeed Steel Fury, and I'm young, healthy, handsome, strong, smart, and exceptionally humble, 69 years old dwarf hailing from Iron Forge. Unfortunately, I mailed by a terrible curse. Long story short, my feet smell like something that crawled straight from an ass of few weeks that pit lord. Who was poisoned by his own fart? Because of this curse and general lack of education, I had hard time finding work on my own, so my mom found me some odd job in Coldridge Valley. As I said before, name's Starfeet Steel Fury, and this is the beginning of my glorious adventure. And here I am, in Coldridge, with nothing but my trusty grandfather's axe. Watching all those people doing their jobs made me thirsty. So I went to Anvilmar to get myself one beer. And another one beer. Ale gave me courage, so I decided to boost morale of my fellow adventurers by traditional dwarven dance. Too late I realized something was terribly wrong. Toxic gas produced by my dancing feet filled enclosed space of the valley. Its concentration big enough to melt brain of everyone, turning them into frenzy and berserker. As I step out of Anvilmar, I saw my comrades mercilessly slaughtering everything in their sight. I am no coward, honestly, but my only chance was this time to run away. As I passed a tunnel, infested with drogues and crazed gnomes, I found temporal refugee with the mortar team guys. They were veterans of many battles and wars and such, and generally good drinkers. But even these war steel threats couldn't handle how my feet smelled, and they quickly left me behind. I was on my wit's end, because somebody stole my boots when I was sleeping. And even worse, I almost ran out of a beer. And then, when I was ready to embrace the cold embrace of death, I saw a beautiful flower in the distance. Beside fierce kitty attack, I smelled the flower and then got an idea. I can stick flowers into my boots to neutralize the smell of my feet. I found my boots, get back to Iron Forge and visited local herbalist. What's on your Thanks mind? to smell of herbs, both girls were temporarily immune to my feet stench. The problem was, I had no money for training. So, I had to sell everything I had, even my trusty grandfather's. Off with you. Welcome. Watch your back. And so, I went outside the city again to get some herbs. Hoping for better tomorrows. It was quite cold without any clothes on. And honestly, flower picking wasn't as peaceful job as I thought. As I bravely and but nakedly endured dangers of the wilds, I realized my feet stopped smelling at all. Most likely thanks to absence of any boots on them. 
Since I had no use for herbs anymore, I was going to sell them back to the herba girls. But just outside of the shop, I met a strange looking gnome selling pies. Gnome's name was Sras. Pretty old one, huh? And he told me about magical properties of flower called peas bloom. If you eat pie baked with peas bloom, you get very happy and forgot all your problems. You can also smoke it, but only mages do that. For instance, you can forget about your city being irradiated and infested with drugs. Yeah, it wasn't me this time. I sold all my herbs to Ras, but we were almost caught by Ironforge Guard during transaction. To be honest, that guard almost made me empty my bottles. So I took that dirty peace bloom money and bought tools to do some proper business. I bought skinny knife, mining pick, blacksmithing hammer, and lastly, some weak flukes. Watch your back. I also visited a local pub and got myself a beer, I since I was running low. Innkeeper also told me a bad, bad news. My parents Keep were going. looking for me. Fantastic! My folks run business named Steel Fury Emporium. This is my dad. He likes beer and gold. And beer. This is my mom. She's a beauty of the forge. Recently, some odd trend came from Stormin. Dwarf and girls started wearing fancy dresses and cute haircuts and start shaving their beards. Disgusting. But not mama. She's a traditional dwarf and female. Her beard wear toilet. Wearing trousers. Chest like a beer cake clad in armor. I came home and greeted my folks and started talking. What's up, people? Can't you see I'm busy? Son, we hear some disturbing rumor that you run around Iron Forge, but naked selling peace bloom. No way. No. I wear shorts. Haha. <laughs> my son won't be a peace bloom junkie. I don't smoke it, mom. I'm just selling it to gnomes. Gnomes, you say? Fine with me. No, look at his eyes. He's completely herbalized. What's wrong with my eyes? Eh? Uh, mm, uh, <clears throat> anyway, a lot. I'm not herbalized. <coughs> Starfeet, you are almost 70 years old. It's time to find a proper job and your own place to live. You can live in our basement forever. You know, <laughs> makes me sad. Makes me sad, Mom. Really. Everyone in this city lives in a basement. We are under mountain for the maker's sake. You young men will get dressed and go back to Coldridge. End of discussion. <laughs>
so I start using it. After wolves kill trucks, nasty little buggers. After trucks came boars for their meat. And after boars came trolls. Lot of different blood on my hands. My last job was to kill a big troll inside the cave. But instead of big troll, I met a group of strange people. I asked them what are they doing there. And after a while, one gnome replied that they are making a circle. I decided to join them, but instead of circle, they are actually making a rhombus, so it didn't make much sense to me. After a while, Big Troll appeared, but he was friendly. So, I just danced with him too, and showed him... As I was leaving the valley, I noticed my feet started to smell. But I was able to channel that smell into powerful attack. Unfortunately, even my trusty tradesman was repulsed by my feet and unable to sell me anything new. If I can't buy anything new, then I have to make it on my own. So, I tossed all my contaminated equipment from the cliff. And thanks to purification of my body odor, I managed to learn mining and blacksmithing. There was no easy way out. There was no shortcut to home. Giving in wasn't an option. So that started my glorious crafting journey.
after crafting Kuperaxe with some runes on top, I was stopped by Iron Forge Guard. And I was very surprised when he told me that His Majesty King Magni Bronzebeard wants to see me.